All right. Of course, he has to join me as soon as we do a video. Um, so, hello everybody. Um, again, this is Shonda. Y'all know Jim and I probably by now. He is usually the one talking in the videos, but I get to be the one today. Figured we'd just make a, a brief video about the gear that we use on a daily basis. Obviously, with the stay-at-home orders in place for our state right now, we're not using some of it as much as we normally do. Um, but I just figured I'd show you what we have, and maybe if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Um, Jim might sit here like a good boy. Um, so basically, for collar, just a really basic flat collar. Uh, one of the people I follow that has a couple of uh, Great Danes on YouTube, he actually found some breakaway collars, and I think those are great. Um, but for him, because he's always with me, I don't have to worry about this getting caught on anything. And say if we go to the dog park, he's leaning into me because I'm petting him. Um, but if we go to the dog park, I'll take it off so another dog can't grab it and get a hold of it. Um, but otherwise, it's just I think it's probably the cheapest one at PetSmart. It's just a basic flat collar. And then he does wear a mini educator. I have the remote. Um, he wears the e-collar. And I will say any hateful comments or hate, I'm, we're just going to delete them. We want to keep this a positive place anyway. Um, but one of the, the main reason he wears the e-collar is because he works mostly off leash. Um, I'll explain a little bit more when I show you his actual leash that we use most of the time. But um, this is not, you know, years ago, I've been training service dogs for, gosh, 20-ish years now. And years ago, um, you know, the, electron, or the electric collars, the shock collars, were borderline inhumane if they weren't already inhumane, but these are actually electronic collars. If you've ever done physical therapy with the TENS devices, <laughs> he leans in, um, that's what the stimulation is. It's just a stimulation, and then this one also has a vibrate function. I rarely even touch his collar. He knows it's there. Um, the most I usually have to do is, if I'm wearing a hoodie, just pull this out of my hoodie pocket or out of the treat pocket if, I'm, if I have it in the treat bag, um, if he's not listening, which is pretty rare for him. But I do use that because that way under the ADA, uh, vest is not required. Leash and collar is not technically required if it inhibits their ability to task, which it can with him. And so this way, nobody can ever say he's not under control. Um, and he can work off leash and, and have a little bit of freedom that way because unlike a lot of service dogs, he works 24 seven, whether he's in vest or not. He works, he woke me up the other night alerting to, he's a blood sugar alert dog. I don't think we had mentioned that, just that he was medical alert. But he woke me up in the middle of the night to alert me on my blood sugar. So, um, you know, he has to he has to work 24-7. So I do give him a little bit more leeway as far as as long as he's nearby. If he needs to, to shift positions as big as he is, laying right here, as long as we have a little bit more space, is not always easy for him to do at his size. So he gets that option. And he's a good boy. Um, so this is our main leash. It is a traffic lead. I think it's the 12-inch. Um, hook that to him you've probably seen it on there it is in some of the videos and again I'm not editing this so y'all get to see us me see me fumble around a little bit no big deal but um, one of the reasons one of the main reasons he works off leash so much is because longer leashes he's gonna lay them. this is a typical Dane thing the head laying down on something um, which I love but just in case you're not familiar with the breed they like to put their head and neck on surfaces um, but this is this is the perfect length at his height and I stand 5'6", so I'm not short, um, but this is perfect for me to be able to have a hold on to, if I need to, to hold on to him. But he can't lay down with this length. So in class, places like that, he needs to be able to lay down. Well, if you put a longer leash on him, he can trip over it easily, which can, he can get hurt. It also affects his ability to task. And so that's why he works off leash most of the time is this stays hooked on if I ever need it. Um, but that way he can lay down if he needs to. If I tell him to lay down, he can but I also don't have to worry about him getting injured on a longer leash. So this is our treat bag. Hi, cutie. Um, I don't, let's see, what's the brand? It's U Vogue Paw. I got it on Amazon a really good deal. Um, it's nice because you have the clip and then you also have a strap and this strap you can wear. We're gonna move around a little bit. Um, okay, you can't stand in front of the camera though. Here, flats. Oh boy, he's gonna take his time for a second here. The rest of you too, I'm sure they can see your tail on camera. There we go, good boy. Um, you actually have the option, you can wear this around your waist, which is how I normally wear it. But then you see the side clips, you can wear it cross body. Being in law school, going into legal practice down the road, uh, that's nice for when you're dressed up. And it has, this has multiple pockets, I have it zipped up, but there's two pockets inside where I keep treats. I always keep treats on me, no matter how experienced the dog is. It's just, they're still a dog, and that way if I need to get their attention, I have something. Um, and then something, I have carried this, pretty much the whole time I've had a service dog, even before the virus stuff. So I carry a small thing, a hand sanitizer, 
and you see all my pens and highlighters and stuff for school. Um, and then of course I carry these poop bags in the back, but it's a nice treat bag. We got them, I think they were six or $7 each. So I got a couple of them on Amazon at the time. Uh, normally something like this is costs a lot more than that. So, and then his harness. Um, I will say if you want to buy a commercial vest or harness, I love one tigers. I have used them before. Uh, they are amazing. I just happened to see, I really like this harness, um, that I, I saw them on Etsy. I saw them, I think on Instagram too, as well, a while back. And I really like them. The problem is that his size, this is 60, 70 bucks minimum. Uh, I've seen them upwards of a hundred dollars and I just couldn't afford that. But I found a DIY. It's got, they've got a website with measurements and a video walking you through how to do it. If you're a basic sewist, you can do this. I mean, I, I'm probably more intermediate. I wouldn't say advanced, but I can, I can sew a lot. Um, and this was really easy to sew. And I think all the materials for this and the vest part were less than $30. And it took me about two hours total for both pieces. Uh, so it was worth it. Um, probably the only adjustment I'll make down the road, I do want to make another probably one or two. So I have options and you know, if you ever need to wash it or whatever, cause they're very washable. But uh, I'll probably put a piece through here and have clips on each side. But the way this works, the way that the pattern works, you have your clip, it goes, this goes between his legs, put the clip through, like I said, not editing, so if I fumble, oh well. And then you clip it to the other side. Um, I just think having it clip on both sides might be a little bit more convenient. Also on the pattern, they have an optional semi-rigid grab handle. And you see I've got the hardware for it on each side. The problem is that the, the length on everything else was perfect. The length on the, the semi-rigid handle was way too short for his size. And it's not something I really use. Um, I might do it eventually, but I don't have it on it right now. I do have the, the pull strap. And then you can see the, the actual harness itself and the vest. Now, a vest similar to this, I think with the clip instead of the Velcro, was 20 or $25, somewhere in there. And again, I made this really inexpensive and it just clips the hardware that's already on here for his pull strap. I just clipped the vest part to that. Hopefully this doesn't rattle around too bad, make too much noise. Yeah, there we go. And then this was, it's a, I mean, it's, it's really basic. It's strips of Velcro and I actually used adhesive Velcro. So it was straight. I don't have to pin it down. I don't have to fight it. It's much easier to deal with. And then I sewed it down. The backing is just a cheap piece of solid color flannel because it's nice and soft. Um, and then the edges are, are um, bias tape, just sewing around the edge. And you see here, let me pull this. You see how strong the Velcro is. Um, I know you probably can't see the stitching in the, the video very well, but it's not a straight stitch. I use one of the other funny stitches on my sewing machine to make it look nice. Um, but that way, you know, it holds everything together. And I do have Velcro, the Velcro strap underneath. It's more comfortable than the buckles. Um, one thing about the Great Danes, they don't really, I, I joke around, they don't really have fur, they have hair. And um, even at 180 pounds, he still has some size to put on. He's got, he'll probably put on another 20, 30 pounds easy in weight. And uh, even, even at that size, the buckles can get uncomfortable when you're talking about these bigger buckles. So I just figured the Velcro would be easier for him. And then the patches. This is one other thing I'll try to remember to put in the comments below. I got all my patches except for the American flag one. I got them all on the same website and this one's actually custom. The others she has on her site. Um, but it is patchworkandpaws.com. She makes awesome patches. Um, you can see I'm taking care of my girls, my superpower. Uh, I'm helping her. Please do not separate me from my girl instead of the don't separate service dog from handler. It's a little nicer one. Giving her freedom one paw at a time. I like this one. In a galaxy far, far away, service dog IDs are still fake. So true. I prevent her face meeting the floor. And then I am a Trekkie. I help her live long and prosper. And then his earning my crown in training. Um, and not all disabilities are visible. She does make custom patches. Um, this is actually my fault. I wanted, I, I thought this gray in the background was gonna be a little bit lighter. So I may end up ordering another one from her when all the virus stuff is over with and people are actually, you know, back to work. Um, but I do, I love her patches. I think she makes some vests as well. I just chose to make this. I, I like it. I like the whole harness setup. Um, but definitely I recommend her for her patches. They're amazing. Um, and she'll, you can change the colors on these others. I just didn't change the colors. I like them the way they're designed. Um, so that is his year set up here. Come here, boy. Let me put you this on you. Unbuckle it here. Really easy to get on him. I don't use a command. I know some handlers use, um, get dressed to put their vests on. He's, it's never been an issue for him. So, um, first time I put his vest on, gosh, it was right after I got him in eight weeks and 
it's, it's never been a problem. Come here. Of course, I say that now he's trying to get out of camera range. All right. There we go. Do the Velcro here. And I'm doing this all blind, so hopefully it doesn't look like I'm just fumbling around. And let's see, this would be easier if you could just clip it on both sides, but we'll see. With law school, I don't know if I'll have time to do that. So we shall see. There we go. Yep. And, oh, you still have your, I forgot to take the leash off earlier. Here we go. He looks nice. It's comfortable for him. Um, I like that it's fleece. It is washable, like I said, but it's fleece on the, the underside, so it's nice and soft. Um, and he seems to like it. The uh, <laughs> Some of the commercial vests, the, the, the mesh on the bottom, which keeps them cool, can also irritate the dog's skin if they don't have a whole lot of hair, um, which these guys tend not to have. Such a big boy. So I hope you all have enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions about gear or anything, please let me know. Um, but hopefully we'll get some more fun videos soon. I did hear about this week, not only are we doing finals online, um, but our first three weeks of the summer term, I go year round. I'm going actually this, at the end of this term, I will be a 3L, a third, my last year of law school. Um, but the first three weeks of summer term, pretty much no matter what, are gonna be online. So that takes us through most of May. Um, but we will try to get out. We, I had to go to the Dollar Tree today to pick up some stuff. This is my, this is my office, sewing room, homeschool room. Um, and so I had to get some homeschool supplies earlier at the Dollar Tree and I'll have to, I got a short video of him there. Have to put that online as well. Um, but I'll try to get some more videos out and about as we go do necessities since our state is in a stay at home right now. Um, but please, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask and I hope you enjoyed the video. You say bye. Or you just want to snuggle. You're a good boy. He's a sweetie. Y'all have a good one.